May June 2020 variant 35. Determination of water of crystallization through gravimetry. In this experiment, you will determine the value of X in the formula for hydrated manganese 2 sulfate, whose formula is here, XH2O, where X is an integer, represents the water of crystallization molecules present in the compound. You will do this by measuring the mass lost when a sample of hydrated manganese 2 sulfate is heated. Manganese 2 sulfate hydrated crystals are heated to form anhydrous manganese 2 sulfate solid and water of crystallization is lost in the form of a steam. FA4 is hydrated manganese 2 sulfate. Apparatus and chemicals given are a Bunsen burner, a tripod stand, pipe clay triangle, FA4 white solid in a test tube, a pair of tong, crucible with a lid on a heat proof mat and a lighter. Method Weigh the crucible with a lid and record the mass. Now the mass of crucible with the lid is 32.15 grams. Now add all the FA4 to the crucible. Reweigh the crucible with the lid and FA4. Record the mass and also describe the appearance of the FA4. Add all the FA4 into the crucible and record the mass of crucible with lid and FA4, 34.24. Also, let's have a look at the appearance. So it's crystalline white to pink white solid. So the mass recorded 34.24 grams and the appearance recorded was a white solid or crystalline pink white solid. Now the next part says place the crucible in a pipe clay triangle on the top of the tripod. Heat the crucible gently with the lid for approximately one minute. Remove the lid and then heat more strongly for further four minutes. Let's do it now. Support the crucible in a pipe clay triangle and the pipe clay triangle is adjusted on the tripod stand. Then switch the burner on but cover with the lid first as it has to be heated with lid in the first minute. Now start the stopwatch, heat gently in the first minute means the flame should touch the bottom of the crucible only and for further 4 minutes a strong heating means flame cover all the sides of the crucible but the flame should be blue only. Now let's wait for 1 minute. So, at one minute, do not stop the stopwatch, just remove the lid and increase the flame. So at five minutes, I will stop this flame. Now, let's move on to the next part. Now, after heating for five minutes, the next part says replace the lid and allow the crucible to cool. Once the crucible has cooled, reweigh the crucible with the lid and the contents, record the mass. So let's remove from heating now. To cool this crucible, let's hold this crucible using a pair of tong because it's hot. So use this pair of tong to hold this and keep on a heat proof mat. 
replace the lid and wait for it to cool down. Once the crucible and its content of Fa4 are cool enough, reweigh the contents. Now it's 34.02 and if you look at the appearance, an off-white solid remaining at the end. So the mass of crucible with the lid and the residue left is 34.02 and the appearance of residue is of white solid. Now the next part says calculate and record the mass of FA4 added to the crucible, the mass of residue and the mass of water lost. So now we will write all these values in this given space below. So all the masses are recorded in the table. And one more important thing to remember in this table is when you are writing these masses, write in this way that firstly it was the crucible with lid only. So it was this much mass of crucible and lid and then FA4 added. So just write here before heating also so that you, you will remember that this is the mass of the crucible lid and FA4 before heating. And then once you have heated and you are writing, you are supposed to write mass of crucible plus lid plus residue left after heat. Therefore, it is easier now to calculate the mass of FA4 added. How? You will just subtract this value by this value. You will just get the mass of FA4. And then when you are writing for mass of residue left, you will subtract this value from this value. So the crucible and lift lid is removed from this. So you will get the mass of residue from here. And then once you subtract these two values, mass of FA4 minus the mass of residue left, you will calculate the mass of water lost. So remember, this is an easier version. You will calculate the values correctly. Now, let's move on to the next part. In the next part, it says, calculate the number of moles of manganese to sulfate present in the residue. You may assume all the water of crystallization has been removed. It means you have to take the mass of residue as the mass of pure manganese 2 sulfate left. So the formula to calculate the moles from here is moles is equals to mass in gram divided by the MR of manganese 2 sulfate. Now if we look back at the mass of residue left it was 1.87. So we will take this mass as mass of residue left and and we will divide it by the MR of manganese 2 sulfate and now the MR can be calculated from the periodic table. The periodic table says the Mn has 54.9 and sulfur has 32.1 and oxygen has 16 which is 4 times. So MnSO4 0.01238 up to 4 significant figures. Now the next part says calculate the number of moles of water lost. So for this, again, the same formula, the mass of water lost from the previous table, which is 0.22 grams, divided by the MR of water, which is 18. So moles is equals to 0.22 mass in gram divided by 2 times hydrogen, that is 1, and 1 time oxygen, which is 16 MR. So the moles will be 0 0.01222 up to four significant figures. The next part says calculate the value of X in MnSO4.xH2O. Now, if we have 
both the moles calculated, we can actually use these two moles as ratio. How? In the formula, if we see Mn SO4 is written as Mn SO4 one time and water is X times. For one mole of Mn SO4, X moles of water are attached. And through our calculations, the moles of Mn SO4 were 0 0.01238 and the moles of water calculated were 0 0.0122. So we can relate this value of x here now. It is 0 0.987, which is an integer, of course. Therefore, we will write here approximately equals to 1. This is why the value of x is 1. Again, let me show you that in the previous page, where x is an integer therefore we cannot write 0 0.987 rather we have to take this value as 1. Now move on to the next part which says it is possible that FA4 did not lose all the water of crystallization in your experiment. Yes it could be the problem. Why? Because uh, we have heated just one time and then we have cooled it down and then we have recorded the mass how are we sure that all the water of crystallization has been lost no we are not sure so if we reheat again it could decrease again the mass could decrease again therefore we are not sure that water of crystallization has been completely removed in one time now they have asked the same question explain how you could modify the experiment to ensure all the water has been removed. So here we can say that heat again till constant mass. So heat till constant mass is the method improvement to ensure all the water has been removed. Explain why your calculated value of X might not change if a small amount of water of crystallization remained in the residue. So if we look at the masses lost, the mass of water loss was such a small value 0.22 grams that if some of the mass remains inside like 0.2 or 0.18 could be the mass, the moles will be in a very very minute ratio the, the values are very very small 0 0.0123 0 0.0122 so if there is a small change in the mass then this ratio will not change therefore we can say the changes in mass of both residue and water will be too small to change the integer value that is 1 in our experiment. So if you round it off, the value again will be 1. 0.98 7 could change to 0 0.97, 0 0.96. So it won't change the overall value that remains 1. Here we comes to an end of 11 marks gravimetric question from May-June 20 variant 35.